What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here. I have a video here. This is a little bit of an alert video. Some uh, This is a stock that I really want you to take a look at. Um, first and foremost, uh, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, anything on this channel, uh, everything that's said is my views and my views alone. Uh, this is not financial advice. Um, before you do purchase this stock, do your own due diligence, uh, dig into the stock. Um, the stock I'm bringing you today is Hipple Holdings, H-P-I-L. Uh, the stock closed on Friday at 0 .009 up almost 70%, uh, so it had a very strong day. Uh, if we just take a look at the chart here, um, I go to the candlesticks. Uh, this chart looks absolutely fabulous. Um, you can see here, this thing has just absolutely ran like a monster today. Uh, it's been very strong uh, since uh, February, and um, we're going to go over the details of why this chart uh, started perking up in February and uh, has been uh, ascending northbound ever since. Um, but first, I do want to get into the... Um, bad news with this stock first and let's get the bad out of the way let's take a look at this share structure i typically would never ever play a stock with this type of share structure but this will be addressed uh, they have an authorized shares of 200 billion with an outstanding of nearly 9 billion 100 uh 100 or i'm sorry 100 i keep on wanting to say 100 1 billion restricted and uh, nearly uh 7.2 nine billion unrestricted shares uh, looks at looks like about 7.5 at the DTC but uh, the good news is um, the new uh, regime says they are addressing this and uh, they should be addressing it rather drastically so if we take a look here I uh, kind of want to go here and uh, talk about why the stock started perking up um, in the, in the early February, I believe it was. Um, but uh, we have here two uh, additions to the uh, company. Um, it looks like it looks as if, uh, the new uh, Hipple president, David Postula, uh, and then the new Hipple CEO, Stephen Brown. Um, it says here, David is a, se a seasoned senior executive with broad experience driving strategy, business optimization, and revenue growth across a number of technology segments. Um, let's see here. Prior to joining Cybernetic, Dave was with Crank Virtual, and prior to that, he was the Vice President of Strategy and Business Development at Tower Semiconductor, uh, NASDAQ ticker TSEM, where he was responsible for driving strategy, roadmaps, and both customer and partner alliances in support of $1 billion in revenues, um, and that's... Uh, rather impressive. Uh, if we go to Stephen Brown, uh, hailing from predominantly the music background, uh, the founder of a successful independent record label in the 90s, uh, he went to, uh, f to form a groundbreaking streaming video company called VidNet. Uh, if we look here, uh, Mr. Brown built the company from uh, five employees to over 100 employees and also took the company public on the NASDAQ uh, with ticker symbol CR. MK reaching a market cap of over five hundred million dollars. Uh, he left the company to launch Crank Media, uh, and I'm sure this is where uh, these guys really got the bond and put the idea together of what they're doing here at uh, Hipple. Um, so uh, two new additions, um, two seasoned vets in the business uh, world, um, and. Uh, Two seemingly ambitious guys with uh, proven backgrounds. Both uh, have uh, dealt with NASDAQ companies. Uh, in fact, uh, Stephen Brown uh, took his company from the ground level and uh, listed it on the NASDAQ. So that's uh, rather impressive. So uh, if we go over here, uh, I want to take a look at uh, some of the uh, catalysts that were uh, pushing this stock up. And um, bear with me just a uh, So we go back here, and uh, on April 26, Hippo Holding announces a new president, and uh, we already uh, spoken uh, on that. So uh, 
They uh, HIPAA Holdings files with OTC and FINRA, so they will be doing a name change uh, as well too, and also filing to get uh, uh, be able to upload their filings in order to get Pink Current. They announced a uh, shareholders call, so uh, getting rather active um, with the new uh, regime in there. Uh, HIPAA Holding announces the acquisition of 51% of NFT Procurement Limited. So they're getting into the uh, NFT business, uh, and that was on April 30th. They had a few updates here. Um, shortly afterwards, they announced a partnership with Origin Protocol, and um, then it the, uh, looks like uh, just uh, the following day, they uh, acquired the remaining 49% of NFT procurement to gain 100% control of that company. Uh, HIPAA Holding announced it has received name change approval from FINRA. So on, name, uh, on May 14th, they uh, got approval for their name change. Um, then they acquired Crank Virtual. So it's a cybernetic technologies announces it has signed a letter of intent to acquire Crank Virtual. This is the company that the two new incoming uh, officers um, had uh, been part of. So they're merging their companies here together into uh, Hipple. Um, and then also now on May 25th, um, this is uh, pretty much the, uh, the news I was talking about with the share structure. Uh, Cybernetic Technologies, which will be the new name of Hipple, uh, Cybernetic Technologies announces it has filed to reduce authorized shares. Um, this is big. Um, this is good news. Um, this needs to be taken a step further. I'm going to be straight with you. Um, what they're doing here is great, but they need to take it a lot further uh, in order to gain shareholder trust uh, for the long term. Um, it says Cybernetic Technologies uh, announces that it has filed the necessary documents to reduce the authorized shares from 200 billion to 60 billion. The reduction was a necessity to hopefully settle the market perception and to make some possible acquisitions. We will be reviewing this again once we have successfully got the company onto OTCQB. So, um, that's another little uh, nugget that they threw in here that they will be uh, applying for OTCQB. So that's good news there. They are bringing the share structure down significantly and they said they will review this and uh, uh, look back at this once they get on the QB. So there may be, and I'm um, hoping, uh, and there probably should be some further reductions uh, going on here, um, I would uh, imagine. If we look further, um, Cybernetics Technologies announces it is launching the Apogee Dynamics Limited. And it says, uh, Cybernetics Technology announces that it has joined forces with a group led by L. Ferox to, to launch Apogee Dynamics Limited, a company that Cybernetic Technologies is a majority owner. Um, the company was developed for the purpose of developing a battery power source that will never need charging while in use for such vehicles as automobiles, boats, and many other forms of transportation. Now, let's touch on this just for a second here because this is the news right here that really caught my attention. Um, pretty impressive here that they're they're working uh they're creating a uh, subsidiary apogee dynamics which will be creating a technology which will allow boats automobiles cars buses trucks to you know I don't, i'm not sure about semi trucks but whatever it may be to drive and now can you imagine this in the trucking industry in the transportation industry the logistics industry something like this this would be multi, multi, multi billion dollar um, a haul here. I mean, this would be, this would be unreal. But again, um, I am not a, uh, not an engineer. I'm not a, uh, you know, I, I have no idea how this stuff really works. So um, I, I have no idea how proficient it is. Um, but uh, again. Um, this is big news. So uh, this is what really has me excited about this company. 
And then on uh, June 22nd, Cybernetic Technologies announces Apogee Dynamics Limited to develop the Apogee D7. So the Apogee D7 is their first electric vehicle. The plan for a new Apogee D7 is a four-seater vehicle that will not only use the new Apogee powertrain, it will have up to 10 partners all utilizing their disruptive business models from technology, green materials, media, that will change the future. Excuse me for getting that phone call. That will change the future. Let's see here, I got a little thrown off here. I should have had my phone down. But it says here, uh, the change challenge the future of the auto industry, excuse me, uh, as it is uh, known today. So let me start that over. The plan for the new Apogee D7 is a four-seater vehicle that will not only use the new Apogee powertrain, which I'm very excited about, it will have up to 10 partners all utilizing their disruptive business models from technology, green materials, uh, media that will challenge the future of the auto industry as it, as it is known today. All partners will have their imprint on the vehicle and will be an instrumental part of its functionality. We all look to have the Apogee D7 website up within the next 45 days. So that's on June 22nd. Um, should have that, uh, I would say they said 45 days, so I'd be looking sometime towards uh, probably the uh, beginning of August, I would say, uh, to have this website up. So uh, that's exciting news right there as well, too. They, they will be having a uh, uh, their uh, new electric vehicle out. So... Um, not only they have this powertrain technology that I think uh, just about every EV company in the world is going to be uh, looking to get their hands on, um, you know, they also have an EV out, and I'm sure this is not uh, where they're stopping here. So um, not only uh, have we have all this good news, um, we could take a look here at our uh, – a real good uh, follow here on Twitter and uh, go follow them on their website. This is Insider Financial. Um, they've got a really good uh, article for trending OTC stocks to watch. And if we go down here, number one stock to watch is Hipple. And you can go through and read this. I uh, recommend you go through and read as you're doing your due diligence on this company uh, and take a look at this. Um, you know, nothing much in here that I haven't really gone over, um, but it's uh, excellent. It's an excellent read. Kind of solidify exactly what, uh, you know, what you need to know about uh, this company and uh, make your decision to invest uh, in this company. But I do recommend uh, following Insider Financial, uh, absolute fabulous follow on Twitter and also follow up on their website and follow up and also uh, sign up for their alerts. Uh, absolutely fabulous uh, site here. Um, if we also go to another site, uh, Microcap Daily, you might wanna go uh, read this article as well too. Um, they've got another article on um, HPIL. So uh, there's some more uh, due diligence out here. If you want to go take a re, you know, uh, dig in, uh, read this article here as well too. It's got some good info on the company. Um, we can go over to uh, the company's Twitter page. A couple interesting things here as well too. Um, they have a, a tweet uh, earlier today um, with a link to BlackBerry. Ansys and BlackBerry collaborate to support next generation automobiles. And then again, uh, a little while before that, uh, another BlackBerry uh, hypervisor and RTOS for connected and autonomous vehicles. So that's interesting. They tweet out a change whose time has come. Our engineering is world class as we pursue safety and quality guaranteed intrinsic safety and unmatched luxury in all our powertrains. So this powertrain technology, um, th this has me intrigued. This, this has me completely overlooking the... Um, 
the share structure. Uh, this, this technology is what has me more interested than anything. You know, um, not only does this company have uh, solid leadership, um, they have very ambitious plans, uh, many important strategic partnerships, um, you know, building revenue streams in cryptocurrency, NFTs, blockchain. Um, these guys uh, have uh, patented uh, EV powertrain or just vehicle powertrain technology or EV powertrain technology to, for recharging the batteries. Um, this will revolutionize the EV charging game before it even starts, guys. Um, if this tech is proven applicable in a wide range of electric vehicles, um, every EV manufacturer on earth will be kicking in these guys' doors uh, for that technology. Um, I really don't want to um, overhype a stock. So um, this thing can go a couple ways. Uh, HPIL can, this thing can very well have a TSNP type run if this technology is uh, as good as they say it is. Um, this thing can run all summer long and even further, and, and this could be one of the stocks of 2021. Um, but then again, they, we do have these security details, so um, there's always a cautionary side to it. Uh, you know, so, yeah. Nothing's too good to be true, but this seems very good. Um, as always, play with caution. If you get in and there's a run, take your profits. You know, I'm not saying take everything off. I'm not saying cut your entire position, but trim some profits. This way, uh, you hold that aside for when there is a dip. You can re-add to the position or put it elsewhere. Uh, you know, put it to work elsewhere. So, um, I just think, uh, you know, I think we see two and a half minimum next week. I really, I really can't see why we wouldn't. Um, and you know, once we see, you know, we have the catalyst coming forward, we have filings, and then we have pink current. Um, then we have them uh, uplisting to OTCQB. We have the share reduction. We have further share reductions, the electric vehicle rollout, the powertrain uh, technology, which I do believe if this thing is, uh, like I said, applicable and um, scalable to all other electric vehicles, this could be a absolute home run. So um, again, dig in, do your due diligence. This is not financial advice. This is me giving my opinion on a play. Um, as always, uh, you know, uh, dig in and do your research. Uh, see if this stock is applicable for your portfolio and your trading style. Um, this is all I got for you today. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. I do appreciate you watching. And as always, traders, let's get that money.